the questions of where did we come from, uh, even the deeper question of how did the universe itself come into existence, and most importantly, why are we here? These, I think, are the deepest philosophical questions that humans can ask, and have, they have asked from the very beginning. Uh, our primitive ancestors would have asked these same questions tens of thousands of years ago, and they had answers that we came from the stars. The sight of the Milky Way arching across the sky would have greeted our ancestors night after night. And so they would have come to a conclusion that they have, that we living creatures on this planet have to be in some way deeply connected with this universe of stars and galaxies. So our ancestors may have been closer to the truth than modern civilization tends to be in the year 2020. Humans a hundred thousand years ago probably came nearer to the truth when they postulated the sun god as being the main deity in their lives. Uh, the sun is of course an all-important component of all life on the earth and it's a step towards uh, a cosmic creation or a cosmic creator, if you like to call it. Now, if you go back four and a half billion years ago, uh, life did not exist on the Earth. Uh, today, the Earth teems with life, life of all sorts, humans, animals, plants, insects, microbes, viruses, and so on. But four and a half billion years ago, the Earth was just formed from uh, colliding debris, dust clouds that were getting together and making our primitive planet. And the surface of the Earth would have been so hot that no life could have survived. There would have been no life, no molecules even, no complex structures would have survived. The question of whether life started on the Earth spontaneously at this time becomes a very important question. It's a vast universe. And we, as living creatures on the planet, are just insignificant, little tiny insects almost, uh, uh, figuratively. So the question of a connection becomes really important and urgent. Are we, as living creatures, connected to the bigger universe? There must be a connection between us living creatures on the earth and the great universe outside. To reject that connection is a deliberate uh, attempt uh, by modern humans to think that they're so important that they can form themselves, life can form spontaneously on the earth, and that we, do, we really don't have any need for a deep connection from outside. The beginnings of life and the evolution of life has been posited as being a purely terrestrial affair. So that's the, the, the situation that uh, I faced in the 1970s when I, together with the late Sir Fred Hall, began to challenge that conventional position of life starting on the earth. Uh, it was a very difficult uh, position to challenge because it was very, very deeply entrenched in science. Every textbook of biology has a first page which says that life started on the earth in a primordial soup. Now, there is the huge problem and a question that really has not been answered. It, there's no evidence for this to have happened. It's a pure speculation. And the deeper you probe the question of whether or not life originated on the Earth, the uh, more certain I think one gets that this is just an absolute impossibility. So to know where we came from, I think, is perhaps the most uh, fundamental scientific knowledge that can be acquired in our quest to explore the cosmos. This has been my life's ambition. It has been essentially, many people have attempted to think along those lines, but they have gone round in circles and essentially come back to the position that life is a purely terrestrial, has to be a, a purely terrestrial affair, and that uh, the external universe is not really relevant. And I think that the position is flawed for very many reasons. And I think accepting our cosmic ancestry is very important, uh, particularly with the new 
information that we have from astronomy, from biology, geology, all pointing to life being external to the earth, that life was imposed on the earth uh, from outside. Knowing where we came from, I think, is an important uh, matter for all of us psychologically and um, as human beings. And I think it would mark a turning point in the history of civilization generally. It is conceivable that we might arrive at a better understanding of consciousness and mind which have really baffled scientists for many decades despite the fact that we have made great advances in neuroscience and technologies to probe the workings of the human mind, uh, the knowledge of what the mind is, what the, uh, the, the, the entity called the mind, what is that really, where is it residing? It's connected with our neurons and our brain cells, but is it something that is even external to the earth? Uh, knowing and accepting our cosmic ancestry would, I believe, help to restore a sense of connectedness and unity in a world that is really very fractured in the year 2020. We have so many uh, quarrels, so many conflicts uh, all over the world, and these are very, very bitter conflicts fought on the basis that we are all important creatures, that we are terrestrial kings of the planet and we rule the planet and so on. So as soon as we adopt a wider perspective of our life and of life generally, I think, uh, or I hope certainly, that there would be greater unity amongst all peoples that inhabit this planet of ours. My instinct is that the universe itself is the repository of all the intelligence that we can conceive of. The intelligence, uh, the universe is, is vast, it's, it's super vast, and uh, the informational content that it can contain is therefore infinite beyond any doubt. So we are just little trivial uh, bits, each of us, are t in, in minuscule bits of that intelligence uh, that has come into our lives, into our entities, into our, uh, our bodies and our minds. So I think this is part of uh, a cosmic intelligence and we are just uh, uh, components of that, minute, insignificant components of a huge sea of cosmic consciousness. I cannot for a moment believe that the uh, experiment of assembly of life, of assembly of cosmic life on the Earth has reached anywhere near the end in terms of its intelligence. We are more intelligent than the lower animals, we think, but is that the limit? I think that's certainly very presumptuous of us to think that we have reached the limit of intelligence. The same processes that led to the beginnings of life on the Earth would have occurred on countless other planets in our Milky Way, in our galaxy alone, because we know today that there are something like 100 billion or more than 100 billion Earth-like habitable planets. And on very many of these planets, uh, the processes of the cosmic components of life getting together and becoming more and more complex, uh, leading maybe to humans and superhumans and so forth, would have taken place on these other cosmic abodes. I think that there has to be intelligence that is at a higher level than us in other places. That's my instinctive feeling. Uh, so super intelligent aliens is not a, not a science fiction purely. Uh, so it is really difficult to assume that the whole pro progression of uh, more and more intelligence, more and more sophistication has come anywhere near, near the end of the road with us humans. Uh, perhaps there's a long way to go and the ultimate reach, limit that could be reached is uh, something like cosmic intelligence.